So how do you make your own math game? Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang. I've been teaching college math for nine years. And making your own math game really helps the students understand the concepts a little better, but in a more fun fashion. And I'm going to give you a few tips on how to create your own math game so it's not only fun for the students when they play it, but it might also actually be fun for you making the math game. So here we go. First, you want to decide on the math lesson. What is it that you want them to practice with? Make as long a list of math problems because, as you know, practice, practice, practice. Practice does make perfect, and plus, it gives you a variety of problems so that the game could last a little longer depending on the number of students uh, that you have, whether it be groups or individuals. Now, Decide how many categories that you want, and then take that long list of math problems and divide them into equal categories. And to separate the categories, it might be best to separate them onto colored note cards, various different colors that we've actually written on these list of tips here. Now, if you decide that you want to make a math board game, you can use dice, cardboard to set up the board, as well as different uh, markers just to kind of indicate the different categories that you have. And last but not least, once you've finished creating the game, whether it be a board game or not, gather up your students, divide them into groups if you like, if it's a really big class, and then have a group or a student roll the dice and start playing and have fun, and you'll learn a few things along the way. So, I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's how you make your own math game.